Hey everybody, what's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Tammy Talks here. Let's talk Married at First Sight, San Diego, Season 15, Episode 8, Party Wars. If you're brand new to my channel, I do breakdowns on various TV shows, both scripted and reality, interjecting my own thoughts, opinions, and theories into each and every recap. So, if you enjoy the type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Don't keep typing in Tammy Talks. Subscribe. You. I'm talking to you. I've checked the analytics. And majority of my views, as usual with everyone on YouTube, comes from non-subscribers than people that are subscribed. So, subscribe and stop typing in my name. Stop wasting your time. <laughs> um, a huge shout out and a thank you to Eileen um, for the super thanks that she sent over a couple of weeks ago. I'm sorry that I'm just now seeing it now, but I did want to make sure that I said thank you because it did not show what video you left it from, unless I just don't know how to check that, which is very, very possible. So if you are watching um, this video, thank you for the super thanks, all right? So let's get started, y'all. Let's talk um, Ben and Morgan. They're so boring to me. They are so boring. I promise y'all, if I didn't have to do videos on them, I wouldn't. But it starts off with Morgan FaceTiming a friend, um, a male friend that she refers to as her chosen older brother. She wants to get a male perspective on everything that has been going on with her and Ben. She said the honeymoon wasn't great um, because Ben wanted to talk about financial and family things, and he kind of picked her apart on those and called those red flags. Morgan feels that those are surface level problems. Finances and family issues are not surface level. They're not. Having family issues causes emotional trauma for some people. Um, saying or doing the wrong thing can be a trigger for some people. And then finances should be self-explanatory as to why that is not surface level. Um, nonetheless, I do think that Ben, like I feel itchy today. <sighs> My allergies. Nonetheless, I do feel like Ben is, um, Ben did overreact. He did over-exaggerate. Um, all that good kind of stuff, but it they're they're not surface level issues, Morgan. Um, she said in a nutshell, she's not happy. She is very closed off because she doesn't trust him, and she doesn't know what to do about that because she does have her walls up. Her friend tells her, "I know you don't want to hear it, but put your walls down and talk to him. If you get mad, then you get mad. That's the but that's the best thing that you can do because that is growth." And growth is sometimes painful. Growth is not always happy. I mean, yeah, growth is not always happy. Growth is not always easy. We don't only grow during our, our our good moments. You know what I mean? Like you have to be. You have to get knocked down sometimes to realize how strong you are and to grow as a person. Like I've been knocked down tons of times, but that is also growth. How you handle that, how you overcome that is growth. Don't just celebrate your life when there are wins. You have to celebrate and and find the deeper story and find the lesson in your losses as well, right? And I feel like Morgan is just, I don't know. So Ben meets with his friend to work out. He admits that he overreacted and then he told her business um, to some other people, and so now she feels like she got betrayed by him. She did, because she should have kept your mouth shut. But he said that he's just confused because she was telling Pastor Cal how, you know, she feels that way, but then complained that he isn't touching her or giving PDA. His friend tells him that it takes time to get to know somebody, and sometimes it takes a little time for chemistry to, um, to, oops. And it takes a little time not only for chemistry to form, but for chemistry to, to grow and to really build upon each other. So basically, have some patience. Have some patience, Ben. So Ben went to go get, they were having a tacos and tequila party. I feel like everybody had tacos in this thing. Whenever they had these parties, it is almost always tacos. But Ben went to get tequila and said that he wanted to get a nice bargain tequila that was fruity. 
We couldn't drink together, sweetheart, because I'm not drinking nothing that's not top shelf liquor. Why? Because we're grown. <laughs> Longer the days of being 21 and 22 and in college and fresh out of college and buying cheap liquor. I want liquor that I can drink and not wake up with a hangover because I got to go to work in the morning. Okay. So we get to this taco and tequila's party and the group is standing in the kitchen and take a shot. And um, before that, Morgan tells Ben that he can try the cheap tequila that he wanted. She's going to drink, you know, probably the good shit that she bought, that she paid for. So their friends are asking how the honeymoon was. And they all get kind of awkward and they're just sitting there like. So Ben was like, where, 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 where. I didn't glitch. That's how he was acting. We're trying to work some things out. And meanwhile, Morgan is like, tell the truth. Tell the truth. Tell them like a drunk in the bag. Be honest. And it's like, okay. So then Morgan like leans over to her friend and was like, I like how he's like hiding the truth. And it's like, look, I, I, I don't deal well with passive aggressive people, especially ones that are like rude with it. You know what I mean? And it's kind of like, why are you shouting this stuff out? So then Morgan said that he was very welcoming at the wedding and wants Ben to be honest about the story and tell the truth. So Ben's friend was like me. Well, why don't you tell it then? You tell the story. Since you want it told a certain way, since you feel that certain details should be told, you tell it. And I felt that. And, you know, you can tell that she kind of felt, I don't want to say attacked, but she kind of felt, um... She kind of felt charged up by that. And I was like, I, I mean, but like you're being rude about it. If he's going to tell the story, let him tell it. Maybe he don't want all your business out. Weren't you the same one sitting here crying about the fact that you didn't want people to know that you didn't have your BSN? So why do you want to say it again on national television and now again with two more of his friends? Morgan is annoying AF, like, Lord. But she just wants to be mad, though. That's the thing. So Ben goes and talks to her friends. He admits that he was in her head, in his head. He saw something, he overreacted, and he was judgmental. He said that he has apologized. And he does all these things for her. He brings home flowers. He buys, you know... You know, he sees things at the store that she might like, so he picks that up, but he feels like she doesn't see the effort. He apologized to her, to her family, to anybody under the sun. Um, he said that he's a person, he's quick to forgive, and she holds on to things. Her friend was like, well, in Morgan's, in Morgan's um, point of view, maybe, she's a person that if you keep saying sorry, 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 it starts to lose its effect. Because now it just starts to feel like you're just saying it to go through the motions. But I feel like she's going to have to let it go. She's going to have to let it go. So then Morgan is talking to his friends. And she said that Ben told her that she lied about being a nurse. Said all these things about her were a red flag. Her friend then asks, well, if he's apologized, when are you going to let it go? And so she goes through this whole thing about, well, you know, I I feel very strongly about when people, you know, hurt me. And when you turn on me, then, you know, it's done. She said that she's a person that typically when someone hurts her deeply, she is done with that person. She's never been in a situation like this where she has to continually... Um, work through this deep hurt and keep dealing with this person. So her friends tell her, well, if Ben walks through this door right now and I ask him, if you are a nurse, what is he going to say? She was like, he's going to say yes. So his friend was like, so then you need to forgive and forget. I said, well, you don't forget. I'll say that you don't forget. Because Ben Ben runs his mouth. Ben pillow talks with other people. So you don't forget, but you definitely need to forgive him and move on from it. But Morgan, Morgan seems like the type of person, though, that wants to be hurt. Morgan is the type of person that she wants to have something 
to complain about. She wants to be mad. She wants to have a chip on her shoulder. And it's because Morgan has been hurt in the past before. And what she's calling up is walls. It's just, it's, it's a huge defense mechanism. But it's also what's keeping her um, probably single all these years because look how you act him. He said he was sorry. You're going around and repeating it to everybody that will listen. So did you really want it to be a secret at all? So outside the ladies are talking afterwards um, or after all, everybody has their party and Morgan is saying that she's not sure how she's going to bring her walls down. You know, she felt very, very hurt by Ben. And it's like, girl, nobody want to keep hearing about this shit. We don't. And you can tell that the group did because they was all looking at her like, oh, no. Like, move on from it. Move on. And if you can't move on, then make this your decision day. But don't keep punishing him for something that he is clearly remorseful for. So then um, Ben is talking to the guys and he said that he thinks that he's allergic to her cat because he don't start sneezing to that damn cat is around. <laughs> Um, he also said that her cat is mean to be hissing at her and carrying on. He also then points out that if she didn't have her wall up, then he would be more lovey-dovey with her. So the other guys encourage him to just push through that. Like, show her the PDA, show her, you know, the love that you want to give her, her, how you really are in a relationship, and then maybe that'll help her start to, you know, pull her walls down. Let me know what you guys feel about Morgan and Ben, another boring episode with them, but let's talk about it down below.